The day of reckoning is upon us. Fixie Points episode one is here. Thank you everyone for your over 50 bike submissions to the Fixie Point show, or that's what I would say if any of y'all knew how to build a proper bike. I'll spare your eyes today and I'll award Fixie Points only to the five bikes that I thought wouldn't make you want to vomit. If you're wondering if your bike is featured in today's episode, check out the description where I list out whose bikes are here. Because I won't waste your time like your bike wasted my time. What's up y'all? If you are new to the channel, Channel, and if you don't like to live your life on the edge, but you like to stay reasonably dangerous, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and that bell to never miss another fixed gear video again. Just as a disclaimer, I'll be judging and roasting bikes today. If the concept of a roast is new to you, pretty much in the US, we like to be savage to each other and tear each other apart as a sign of liking and affection. So it's all in good fun here. If you send pictures of your bike into the show and you didn't know what you were getting into and you're having second thoughts, your feelings. Today I will arbitrarily award fixie points on a 100 point scale and at the end we will crown this episode's fixie point royalty. Before I salt your eyes with photos of all y'all bikes, here are some guidelines of what I'm looking for for fixie points. First I'm looking for coherence. Do the components of the bike come together to make an awesome build? Second of course I'm looking at bling. To what extent does the bike display how much cash money you got? Bling is on the spectrum for from flashy to proper. One isn't necessarily better than the other, so I will award fixie points just on how I feel. Arbitrary, remember? Thirdly comes attention to detail. This includes good photography, highlighting fixie point worthy aspects of the build, and remembering to clean that dang hair that's tangled around your cog before you have your bike featured in front of tens of thousands of people. Fourth is originality. Your bike better make a good first impression, and the more that your bike makes me want to write a letter to my mama saying, hey yo mommy, I thought I knew how to build bikes, but apparently not. I'm about to go up to these mountains and rediscover myself because I'm doing things all wrong. The more it makes me want to say that, the better. If you have a white Chanelli Parallax with black Omniums, black Thompson bits, black archetypes, laced to black fill humps, you get an exactly zero originality fixie points. The last 20 points are bonus points, and I will award however the heck I feel. Zach shall give it and Zach shall take it away in these last 20 fixie points. Now enough of that boring ass rubricate teachery stuff. Now let us open up the ride or die urn to let the roasting begin. Ashes to ashes, we all fall down. To start things off, we got best dressed 2015 Chanelli Mash work. Are you sure are you sure you need a Chanelli Mash work? You probably would have been just fine with the Chanelli stroll down the block for cold brew, but <laughs> I get it. You want to show your fedora wearing friend your $900 rusty ass frame set that keeps things modern yet vintage. You could have gotten something equally as vintage and rusty from a dumpster, but you probably got this frame set for a steal at $850 at Buffalo Exchange on Mission in SF. Raw frame set with silver, black, and white components works well. Usually using so many different color components makes bikes look like a hot mess and not the good kind. But this bike does it right. This mash work looks confused. It has two bottle cages for long distance, but you're also on risers, which straight suck for distance rides. But if you're a masochist, more power to you, brother plus 16 fixie coherence points. The mash work is a glorified nature boy, which is a glorified Pompino. Regardless, plus five fixie points for hype. Speaking of hype, Thompson Post, Richie X Caden Stem, $60 Spurs Cycle Bell, Chris King Headset, and Dura Ace Cranks with an out of production Sugino Zen Messenger chain ring gets you plus 18 bling fixie points. You link to Pedal Room page with high quality, easy to view and download photos with a thorough specs list. Plus 10 detail fixie points for making my life easier and thank you for getting your bike sparkly clean for its photo shoot. Plus 5 fixie points there. The front brake track is worn down. This would normally be a point deduction, but you're riding brakeless, so it cancels out. You got a nice bike, but it's nothing that I haven't seen before. Cool stem though, plus five fixie points. Hey yo, it's called a mash work, but nothing about this bike tells me that it's used for work. No racks, no fenders, no brakes. This bike gets the identity crisis penalty of minus five fixie points. Overall, this bike gets plus 49 fixie points. For our second bike, we have Richard's 2013 Lita 725 in Autobahn Gray. Hey yo, this bike looks like it'll try to sell a creaky seat clamp as a standard feature. This bike looks like it's about to crack and never honor its warranty. This bike looks like it'll try to cure pancreatic cancer and then go bankrupt. 
This bike is a blessing to the San Diego Padres because now there's finally something from the same town that's worse than them. Now all leader jokes aside, besides the company themselves that is, let's get on to judging this bike. Now guess what Richard, I rode Mike Pistards with gum walls for a short time and that was my favorite setup for looks, ride quality, and durability. Plus five nostalgia fixie points there. The silver bars, seat post, hubs, and spokes complement the darker components while being spaced out. No part is too dark and no part is too light. Also, black omniums on thick aluminum frames are pretty rad. And it looks like you have an event in a Matero fork on there, which works surprisingly well with your leader. Coherence fixie points are off the chain, plus 20 there. Most of your components are high quality mid-range components that give you a really good bang for your buck. But bang for your buck don't get you the bling points. Thompson stem and seat post are pretty ballin' though. Plus 10 bling fixie points. Now I normally hate track drops, but, but this is the fixie points show. Plus five fixie points for deep track drops. Unfortunately, your bars ain't wrapped and you also got vertical phone videos when you know that these photos are going to be on YouTube. That's a minus five fixie point penalty, bro. Now let's talk about originality. This bike looks like it's straight out of 2013. First of all, it's a leader and ain't nobody riding leaders anymore. 28 millimeter rims and deep track drops just because they look cool. Now you ain't doing anything inherently different but you said F trends fixie for life plus 13 fixie points well, my recommendation is to just go all the way and throw on some track grips and get a five gold top tube protector to be mega ballin leaders have always been sketched to buy but you got a model from one of the two years that leader actually made decent bikes your bike gets plus five bonus points for showing me that you know how to use google in total your bike gets plus 54 fixie points for our third bike we have a dojichi garo that is ridden in belgium nicolas we welcome your bike to the golden state because we are about to purify it by fire. Hey yo, Nicholas, your neighbors from up the Beanstalk call, they want the Frisbees back. Or maybe they yo Frisbees because with a saddle to drop like that, you must have the proportions of a daddy long legs. Good thing you have your dinner plates ready because we are about to serve you some roast beef. Real talk though, that paint is popping and you made a good choice sticking with black components to let the paint be the focus. You took a risk going with the red anno seat collar, but it adds contrast with the cool tones of the rest of the bike. You got Mike Primatos matching a modern Italian crank set with a modern Italian frame set, plus five fixie points there. Also, that's them, be slammed, and you ride brakeless. Another plus 10 fixie points. The only criticisms I have is that I think your bike is too dark overall, and if you actually want to go as fast as your rim suggested, you'd have clipless pedals. Total coherence fixie points, plus 17. I really like the pattern and the color choice. It's flashy without being loud. Also, custom means plus 10 fixie points, and I make fun of your rims, but they're deep, they're carbon, and as impractical as they are, that is plus five fixie points. Now that I said something nice about your rims, let's go back to how I really feel. The sticker says Esser when it should say microwave safe. Also, you're not fooling anyone with that sticker. We all know that Apple doesn't make dinner plates. Or maybe you just want everyone to know that you have an iPhone in your pocket. You think you're better than everyone. We get it. And please, remove two links from your chain. But it's not all bad. Your photos are square. I think it's a really nice artistic expression on how square your bike is. I also like the aero dash decals on the rims. It tells me that you at least think you ride fast. That paint job carries the originality and you're riding a wheel set that people don't normally ride. 17 out of 20 originality fixie points. For bonus points, this bike gets plus five Italian fixie points. Overall, this Dodiki Gara gets plus 64 fixie points. Our fourth bike is Eldar's Affinity Low Pro. Hey, yo, like I tried to roast this bike, but dang, this bike is so fire that it ended up roasting me. Sparkly purple bikes all the way. Tape matches the saddle, silver for bottom components, black for top components, offset by white, and this all lets that ill paint job pop. The only thing I don't like is the red stripe on the 3T stem. It's too roady for this build. Coherence fixie points, plus 18. Zugino 75s, Phil Hubs, laced to H plus Sun SL42, all in mirror polish finish. Money! The only thing that would make this more money is if you rode brakeless on formation faces. 
Also, did I mention that frame set? It's sparkly purple and it's low pro. You histogram cats can't hang. Purple Steel Bike Gang, we out here. Plus 20 bling fixie points. I know that you got C2 bottle bosses and I know that you know that I know that you got C2 bottle bosses and I know that you know that I know that you decided, regardless of all of that, to not use your C2 bottle bosses and to use a saddle mounted bottle cage because it looks cooler and I think it's a very good decision. On top of that, it's a lot easier to reach it than all the way down there on your C2 because I know it can be pretty far down. Excellent choice. And Pursuits on a Low Pro is the way to go. And night photos with a sparkly purple frame set, boom, the whole shebang is right there. If only you were hipster enough to have a dedicated DSLR for your bike and brunch photos. Plus 17 detailed fixie points. And you get plus 15 originality fixie points because following trends is for squares. 2010 fixie crew in the house. Now, 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 now I got three words for you. Sparkly, purple, steel. You got plus 10 bonus fixie points just cause I'm a sucker for that. In total, plus 80 fixie points. Fresh build, cuz. Now, now, this is our fifth and final bike, and I put it last because it is a heavy hitter. So this dude named Jordan in NYC emailed me and he said, hey, just shut down the show because I get all the fixie points. <laughs> and uh, after looking at his build, I'm afraid he's right. This is Jordan's fresh, purpose-built, custom throne cargo bike. Coherence points are off the chain. Everyone knows that aluminum track frames make the best cargo bikes. They actually don't, but they do after this build. Mustache bars for a comfy upright position and control over your front load and front and rear fenders to make sure you and that bike on your front rack that you put in a body bag stay dry. And what's better than one fork? Two forks, that's right. Two fork crowns because single fork crown is for clowns. And that rear aerospoke just tops the build off because this cargo build will carry your bike straight to the oven. Do, do, do I even need to say it? Aero spoke, campy cranks, Chinelli alter stem, this bike is 100% ballin'. Everyone hide your kids, hide your bike, cause ain't none of you got this level of detail on your bikes or your photos. Verified 100% ripper, titanium flight that's flown your candy bike to hell and back, hand jerry-rigged in the USA cabling, and a warning plate to keep yo mama off the bike. This bike hands down gets the full 100 fixie points and is this episode's fixie point royalty because this throne is fit for a king. Now, if your bike didn't make it into this month's episode, do not worry, Fixie Points is a monthly show. It might get featured in next month's episode. And if you would potentially like to have your bike featured on this show, please do send me pictures of your bike along with a components list to the email in the description. If you never want to miss another fixed gear video from me ever again, do yourself a favor and hit that bell icon so you can have fixed gear videos notified right on your phone, right when they're posted, so you can finally comment first. And if you want to stay updated on the channel and know exactly what's going on, or just follow me on my rides, do give me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Strava. I promise there's no pictures of brunch or puppies on there. It's all bikes. And if you have already ridden your bike today, why don't you reward yourself with another video, such as this one. If you haven't ridden your bike already today, stop watching me right now. Close your computer down, hop on your bike, and have a good time. And remember to stay reasonably dangerous. But before you do have a reasonably dangerous day, I just want to give a shout out to Mr. George James Deeb. If any of y'all have noticed that I've got a sick, cool logo and a really sick, cool channel banner header image that makes everything just look way more professional. That's all. Standout Studio, Mr. George James Deeb. If you need a designer or if anyone you know need a top-notch designer, do check out standout.studio in the link in the description. And with that, now you may have a reasonably dangerous day.